What part of Russia will not allow the eastward expansion of NATO do the Finns and NATO not understand? Ru Scott Ritter over the weekend absolutely flipping out about the dangers the NATO neocons are putting you in by the risk of escalating the conflict with Russia. But the Finns and NATO are pressing ahead, seemingly blind to the dangers. We hope that the Parliament will confirm the decision to apply for NATO membership during the coming days. If they decide to apply, this would be an historic moment. Their membership in NATO would increase our shared security. No, Jan Stoltenberg, it won't permanently increase NATO's security and Finland's security. It will permanently destroy NATO and Finland's security, as Scott Ritter has warned. Finland's talking about joining NATO. What part of Russia will not allow the eastward expansion of NATO do the Finns and NATO not understand? Russia today has said there will be a military technical uh, solution to this. That's the same language they use with Ukraine. This means Russia will go to war against Finland. And Here's the thing you see. Russia's not going to play the long game because the long game is the game they lose. They've got to press this issue to a determination and to an outcome before they're bled slowly. They're ensuring that Ukraine will be destroyed as a nation because Russian, Russia cannot continue this special military uh, operation indefinitely with that kind of resources coming in. At some point in time, Russia will have to escalate. And escalation means, you know, right now Zelensky's hosting <laughs> people, Zelensky's having teleconferences. Zelensky will die. His government will die. Um, Ukraine will be annihilated, not nuclearly, but you know, all the civilian infrastructure that's been avoided will be targeted. And it's not just this. Finland's talking about joining NATO. To what extent do you think Ukraine can be another Afghanistan when it comes to dragging down great empires, great powers? Well, I don't think so. there is a kind of a direct relevance between the two, because uh, uh, Afghan's case is proven by history. But uh, in Ukraine, I believe that uh, uh, first of all, Russia is uh, a nuclear weapon state. So would Russia allow this kind of a slow bleeding of the South yeah, endlessly in Ukraine soil? I doubt about it. So uh, right now, the whole world is afraid that R Russia might resort to one or two tactical uh, nuclear uh, weapons. But uh, I even that could be the case. I doubt whether it will really use against uh, Ukrainians, which was described by Russia as their own president. So probably Russia might use one or two against the NATO countries. So that's two warnings there now. One from Scott Ritter, a seasoned military veteran and a seasoned military analyst in China, warning of the dangers of escalation of this conflict. Ritter says NATO has the Ukrainians on a suicide mission with absolutely no prospect of success and appalling mounting casualties. It, it really, this is a feel-good move, move, you know, move by the West to say, hey, we're doing all we can to help the Ukrainians. But uh, they, they've suffered close to uh, 50,000 casualties. Um, and this is their frontline troops. Uh, they, they had 160,000 of those. So uh, right now, Ukraine is busy mobilizing reservists. Um, they're, they're throwing uh, poorly trained territorial uh, battalions into the mix. Uh, and then you expect them to incorporate sophisticated Western uh, military equipment uh, at the same time. Uh, you know, this is a suicide pill. Uh, it Meanwhile, in the southeast of the country, as Russian forces continue to encircle the bulk of Ukraine's remaining armed forces in the Donbass area, some hundred miles to the south of them, in Mariupol at the Avastol steel plant. We have, uh, well, a range of munitions being unleashed on the steel plant in recent days, um, which are designed to clear it. Uh, we haven't seen, well, I haven't, certainly this reporter hasn't seen this kind of action, these kind of munitions in use since Fallujah, when what you're watching here is exactly the kind of, well, ground clearing rain of fire which was deployed against uh, Fallujah and now here by the Russians uh, against Avastal. And it's difficult to uh, see how anything underneath that could survive.
Но это не может These had been aimed at uh, Ukrainian children, designed to convince them that an American Superman superpower was going to defend them Easy. against Easy. Russia, Easy. which was a threat, the comics explained. And there you can see, actually, uh, the Superman image as the little child is, is grabbed by the soldier and taken to safety away from the uh, threatening Ukraine Russians. Nothing changed, it was all like that, it was like that. Так и есть, воюют до последнего, за 8 лет им мозги промыли хорошо, здесь в школе сами видели литература какая у них, им расписывают то, что мы враги. That's just comic books, not reality. But astonishingly, that comic book reality was counterpointed by the exact opposite, a Russian soldier and a Ukrainian child. This is a Russian soldier and a local child in liberated territory. And uh, she says, God bless you and good luck to you. I love you very much. In another scene, a local uh, military personnel member gave away his own ration to local children. Do you have children yourself? Yeah, three. Similar to them? Well, they're very big. One is small, the others are big. I just had to do it. From comic book propaganda to the touch.